Hi guys, I know my last video was a little bit more on the serious side so I thought that this week I'd get a little bit less serious and a little bit more spooky. Since it's October and Halloween is coming up, I thought I would do a Halloween tag. The first list of questions that I found on Google is 30 questions long, which is a lot of questions to try and fit into a YouTube video that people actually want to sit and watch, so I'm just gonna get started. Favourite horror or Halloween themed song? I've been listening to the Nightmare Before Christmas soundtrack all morning to get me in the mood to do this video, and I think This Is Halloween is probably my favourite Halloween themed song. Just love it, it's just spooky and awesome and I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or an abandoned building. I've been watching Slenderman videos this morning, so Slenderman and like anything, anyone or anything in any of those places, I'd rather just to be like by myself. I wouldn't want to run into a thing but also Slenderman. Have you ever played with a Ouija board? No, and I would not ever. I do not want to mess with things like that. I just think that would open up for so much horrible things to happen to you, I would just never do it. I have watched a lot of movies about it and I do know if I ever did do it, I would say goodbye at the end because then, then you're not letting all whatever spirits just come out and ruin your life. Favourite Halloween monster or villain? Ooh, I actually don't know about this one. Obviously Disney villains are amazing and the only other villain I can think of right now is Voldemort. Creepiest thing that's ever happened when you were alone? When I lived in Milton Keynes, I'd come back from London on the train and my car was parked, like literally a couple of car parks across from the train station and I had to go into two underpasses to get there and I swear the whole way, like someone was whistling and following me and I, as soon as I turned the corner, I ran to get in my car because I was just like, mm -mm, whatever that is, I'm not having any of that. I've never had anything like spooky happen to me. I don't want anything spooky to happen to me, but like that's the creepiest thing that's happened when I've been alone. If you were dead to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? I want to say yes, but no, I wouldn't. Like when I sit and watch American Horror Story or whatever, me and my housemate will sit here and be like, why are they still there? What well, I would have run away by now. What are they doing? Like, if I was anywhere and there was the first sign of something creepy or something being haunted, I'd be gone. So, even if you dared me, even if you paid me money, no, I probably wouldn't do it. Are you superstitious? I think I believe in sort of like good karma and bad karma, but I don't really believe in things like you know, like black cats and breaking mirrors and things like that. Do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? No, and I hope that I never do. Which urban legend scares you the most? I think Bloody Mary, because it's just really creepy to me that you could like, I don't know, sometimes I think about it and then I'll think her name three times and then I'm like, oh my God, what if that's enough? What if she comes out my mirror and claws my eyes out? Sometimes I just think about these things. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? I think thrillers, gore, if done in the right way, I think it can be really awesome, but sometimes it's just too much, so thrillers. Do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? I'm gonna say yes. I don't know if I so much believe in it, but I think I think it's kind of cool to think that there might be like multiples of you in different universes doing different things. Honestly, I'm probably married to Seth Rollins in another universe, let's be real. But no, I just think it's really cool to think that there might be another you living a literally a completely different life. Have you ever made a potion of any sort? On Pottermore when it first came out, if that counts? Do you get scared easily? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I think if other people are scared, that makes me more scared. Like if someone screams, I will scream. Have you ever played Bloody Mary? No, obviously I have not because that terrifies me. Would never do that. Do you believe in demons and the devil? I don't really believe in anything like that, mostly because I think if you do believe in those things, it makes it more real to you, so I'd just rather not. You're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? I would grab like the nearest thing to me that could be used as a weapon. I'm looking around right now and I can't see anything that could be used as a weapon, so I would be screwed. Probably the tripod that my camera's on, just so I could like whack someone in the head, but I would grab a weapon and I would very, carefully go to investigate because I feel like you couldn't just stay where you were because if there was footsteps coming towards you, they're coming for you. If you were trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? I want to say Saw because I've been thinking about it a lot recently, obviously with it being Halloween. And also, I feel like I've watched them enough to know how it works and how you would get out of those things. Let's be real, if I was put into that situation, I would fail miserably and I would die. Also, any scary movie that I was put into, I would probably just kill myself because it would be easier than dealing with whatever the hell you have to deal with in it. 
If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, which would it be? I was obsessed with my Halloween costume last year, which wasn't really a costume, it was a black dress, fishnet tights and like vampire makeup, but it ended up looking really scary, like I kept catching, I sighted myself in the mirror and I'd be like, oh, oh, uh, that's me. But also, when I was in America last year, I saw a pizza costume, so maybe that. Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Probably not. No, that just seems like you're asking for trouble. And also, a little bit disrespectful for the dead, I think. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? I think a gun. Not that I've ever shot a gun and would not, like, I wouldn't have a clue how to use it. Either a gun or, like, ooh, you know the girl in The Walking Dead with, like, the machetes and she's literally so awesome and just chops all their heads off. Something dangerous like that that would actually do some damage and save my life. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? I would rather go and see One Direction like I did last Halloween. I think that is the best Halloween activity I have ever done but I think probably a party rather than trick-or-treating because it's cold and I'm old and I'd just rather watch a movie, to be honest with you. You're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? I'd be the smart one, I think, because I've watched enough horror movies to sit there and be like, why are you all splitting up? What are you doing? Why are you going in there? That's stupid. You need to just do that. Although, if put in that situation, no, I probably wouldn't. But I would never split up. I would always have a weapon. Um, I think I'd be the smart one. I think I know enough. I've learned enough to be the smart one in a horror movie. Or I would be the first to die. Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? I used to have to do that when I was younger because I used to get really, really scared. Now I'm mostly all right because I don't really, I don't really believe in things like that. Whilst watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? I think I'm a mixture of all three. I will sit with my eyes covered, but I will also yell through my eyes being covered and uh, just being like, what the hell are you doing, you idiots? But also I really don't want to watch this right now. Are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? I think a mixture of both. Um, I get scared, like I said, if other people are scared, it scares me more. I also really enjoy scaring other people because I think it's hilarious. Favorite scary book? I don't know if I have a favorite scary book. Probably Goosebumps. I don't know which one though. How old were you when you saw your first horror movie? I literally don't know. I don't think I was that young because I think my mum and dad were always like, no, you need to wait because you're just gonna like scare yourself to death. What was your first Halloween costume? I think it was a witch. Appropriate, to be honest. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? I don't think I'm gonna be anything. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna be me sat at home eating junk food and marathoning the hostel movies. And finally, if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, which one would you choose? I think a black cat, because I've always wanted a cat and it would just be awesome. Also like an owl, Harry Potter, you know. I wouldn't have a bat or a rat or a wolf. I'm gonna go with cat, black cat, and it would just, it would cuddle with me and it would be awesome. So that was the Halloween tag. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me talk about creepy, scary things. Tell me about your favorite Halloween things in the comments below. I'd love to hear your favorite movies, favorite things to do during Halloween, what you're gonna be doing for this Halloween and what you're gonna be dressing up as. I will be back with another video soon. So I will see you guys next time and I hope you have a happy Halloween. Bye.